Hey everyone, and welcome to Facebook Live. I'm Nicole Nalepa, and each month we like to check in with our friend, <laughs> attorney lawyer Twilly, for some free legal advice. And today we're talking about traffic trouble. Just last month there was a dump truck in North Bramford that was involved in a serious crash. The driver failed to obey a traffic control signal, which resulted in it overturning and falling on a much smaller car. The people in the car were reported to have sustained injuries. So, a big question, lawyer, in this situation yep. what type of compensation? could those victims possibly receive? Very significant, because oftentimes when you're dealing with a, a commercial vehicle, there's going to be a large policy associated with that. Um, the, however, there are instances where there are commercial vehicles involved in crashes. We have a, a case right now where there's a semi-tractor trailer, and they're based out of Florida, and the driver of the semi-tractor trailer wasn't put on some list with the insurance carrier. Oh. So now the insurance company is denying coverage, and so now it's kicked back to the company. But <clears throat> when you're dealing with commercial accidents, it's really important that you get an experienced attorney involved mm -hmm. to make sure that your bills are going to get handled appropriately. Because we, we've talked about this on other segments, but a lot of times people think, well, I was hurt, I went to the hospital, I have health insurance, but I don't want you to bill my health insurance because I wasn't at fault, these guys need to pay, and it just, it just doesn't work that way. Right. So when you hire an attorney, an attorney is going to make sure that your bills are handled appropriately, that the right parties are paying for what, reimbursing here, there, and everywhere. And so. It, get an attorney involved, especially with serious injuries and especially when commercial vehicles are involved. Yeah, you don't want anything overlooked in that kind of situation, right? Correct. And we've talked about this plenty of times. It's kind of dotting your I's and crossing your T's. It's yeah. overwhelming when you get into an accident and then when there are injuries involved, there's a whole other layer I would imagine with that. So you're doing the best to look out for that person, protect them in every way possible. Correct. Financially, you know, ment mentally, mentally, physically, make sure they ha they're all covered, they have what they need. Sure. Um, and because there's so much that you don't you don't know right mm -hmm. when you're in that situation yeah and you know we have people call us and they'll say hey my doctor referred me to here and you're like mm, you know maybe you should get a second opinion on right. that and yeah. maybe you should when you're in this industry long enough you kind of figure out who's who and what's what and we also want to make sure that our clients are actually getting the best medical care possible. Right, exactly. So maybe you should see that specialist in Boston versus going here or in New York versus going there. And so that's also part of what we do. Mm -hmm. so, There's nothing wrong with a second opinion. Correct. Absolutely not. And you have so much experience dealing with these situations that, you know, your guidance is going to help people make the most sound decision that fits their, you know, how they feel. Yeah. And that's the thing. So one of the questions that we always ask our clients is like, so how can we help you? And what's the ultimate goal? Right. Really? So the ultimate goal might be to, hey, we want to make sure that there is a traffic light put up at this intersection because there's too many accidents here. So we will help try to make that happen. I, I want to make sure that I get the maximum compensation for my injuries. All right, we'll make that happen. Mm -hmm. So everybody's, our, our clients' individual goals are different for each one. Mm -hmm. So we try to make sure that those are met. And when it's health and they want to like, hey, I want to, I don't care about the money, I just want to make sure I'm able to walk without pain again. Right. Great. That's yeah. the goal. Here's how we meet that goal. You go see this person, they'll send you out to a specialist, they'll give you a couple options. We've heard about this person, this person, and this person. Maybe you might want to consider going here mm -hmm. type of deal. And speaking of that compensation that's attached in these situations, you mm -hmm. know, these crashes with injuries, um, what factors would actually influence possibly what kind of money they get? Well, I mean, the significance of the injuries, the si significance of the damages, which could be your injuries, but sometimes people are out of work. I have a client now that's going to be out of work for between six and eight months wow. because the recovery is, is very lengthy post-surgery. So, all right, how are their bills going to get paid? So. Those are the types of factors that impact your recovery. This person also, you know, has a family to, to feed and rent is due. Mm -hmm. And so we're trying to get them prepared for being able to handle all of those things. But that's the type of, of uh, data and, and things that will impact your case. If you have a permanent injury, you know, a lot of times people will go see their doctors and 
their doctors aren't necessarily in a position to make an opinion about whether or not your injuries are permanent. Okay. And so we make sure that if somebody is six, eight months later still suffering or still having problems, that they are able to go somewhere where a doctor is going to give an opinion as to whether or not there's a, a permanent injury and, and what the future of their care, what the future of their um, life might look like. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of factors involved, but your damages are the largest factor. Mm -hmm. And those damages vary from person to person. And that's why you get a lawyer. That's you need true. a lawyer to help navigate these waters if, uh, if, God forbid, you ever encounter this. So you can find L.A. Law at 1 Regency Drive in Bloomfield. And for more information or just to get in touch with lawyer Twilly, attorney lawyer Twilly, please visit LALawCT.com. You can also find him on all social media platforms at Lawyer the Lawyer. That's his name. That's what he does. And we're so grateful to have you here. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, Nicole. It's a pleasure.